Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss code forces around 1011 diff 2. Okay. The problem that we are going to discuss is part C, serval and the formula. So you're given two positive integers x and y. Uh, the range of x and y is given. Uh, find a non-negative integer k less than or equal to 10 raised to the power of 18 such that this is satisfied. Okay. This condition is satisfied. So we have to find a k such that this condition holds. Or determine that such an integer does not exist. Okay. And this thing is XOR operation, is our XOR operation. Okay. So that's it. The first line contains the number of test cases. Every test case will have two inputs, X and Y. And we have to find an integer K such that X plus K plus Y plus K is equals to X plus K XOR Y plus K. So let's rewrite down the condition that we need to satisfy x plus k plus y plus k should be equals to x plus k zor y plus k now this question is based on a very important property of xor operation okay and i have given the proof for this in my previous video so you can see the previous video the question was based on the same concept and we are going to use the same concept to solve this question okay so i will provide you the link in the description to that video if you don't know the proof of it what was the property the property was a plus b is equals to a zor b plus 2 multiplied with a and b this is the property that we are going to use to solve this question so we'll say that okay let a be equals to x plus k and let b be equals to y plus k okay so this become our a and this becomes our b right okay so on the left hand side what do we have we have a plus b on the left hand side we have a plus b isn't it so this is my left hand side and as per the formula it should be equals to a plus b is equals to this value right okay and on the right hand side do we have a's or b uh, we do have a's or b on the right hand side but we don't have two multiplied with a and b right on the right hand side we don't have this term isn't it but we have to find a value of k such that this value is equal to this value okay what does that mean this means that a and b should be zero right this means that we have to find a k such that x plus k and y plus k should be zero okay so we come to the conclusion that a and b should be equal to zero this is required which means x plus k and y plus k should be zero so we have to find such a k such that this property is satisfied and obviously we're not going to loop if we go and find every possible value of k that might give us time limit exceeded okay so we won't be using the loop to find that k so when is it that when you take an and between two numbers the result is zero it happens only when they don't have a common set bit this means a and b should not have a common set bit or i can say that no bit that is set in b should also be set in a and vice versa right basically our a is x plus k and our b is y plus k so let's think a bit greedily okay let's think a bit greedily let's, let's suppose that y is our bigger number among x and y y is bigger okay y is bigger than x let's say that okay so uh, we can make y a value such that it has only one set bit and that particular set bit is not present in x so add such a k to y such that y plus k has only one set bit and that set bit is not present in x plus k you understand where i'm referring to i'm saying that add such a k to y such that it becomes a power of 2, an exact power of 2. Only 2 has only one set bit. Okay. So we are approaching it greedily 
we're trying to make it a power of two. We have to add such a k that y becomes a power of two. Okay, so su suppose y plus k becomes something like this. Now what happens when you add the same k to x? And remember, we said that y is bigger than x. Okay, y is bigger than x. But natural, but natural, x plus k will not have this bit set. Okay, x plus k will not have this bit set. So what will happen? When if you add k to it, x plus k should be less than y plus k. So the maximum that it can get would be this value, right? This is the maximum that x plus k can get up to if we are saying that y is actually bigger than x. And even if you take the and, you know that you're going to get zero. Okay, so our approach is going to be making y plus k an exact power of two. Okay, will this always work? But uh, what if y is not bigger than x? What if x is bigger than y? Uh, doesn't matter, we can just swap the values, right? We will swap x and y, right? No problem. But what if x and y are equal? What will you do then if x and y are equal? Well, if x and y are equal, you have to add the value k to both of them, right? Then x plus k will be equal to y plus k. Okay? And if you take and operation, if you take an and between same numbers, there is no chance that you will get zero unless both the numbers are zero and we have been given that the numbers are not zero right x and y are not zero x and y goes from 1 to 10 raised to the power of 9 okay so if the numbers are same if you take their and operation you will never get zero so what happens then then we can safely say that there is no k in existence that can satisfy this property okay so what conclusion do we come up to that if y is bigger than x, we will make y a power of 2 by adding k to it. And what if x is bigger than y? We will just swap x and y. Okay, and then we will do the same thing. Right? We will do the same thing. And uh, what if x and y are equal? Then we will say that there is no k that exists. So we will output minus 1. The question is, how will you make y a power of 2? How to make y a power of 2? So you have to find a k, right? That you need to add to y. So that y plus k is a power of 2. So what we are going to do, we are find such a k that y becomes a power of 2, which is nearest to it. For example, if the y value of y is 19, then what is the nearest power of 2 to 19? That is bigger than 19. You can't say 16 because you have to add k, right? And k is non-negative. Okay, so 32, right? So we have to make this y to 32. So what are we going to add to 19? Uh, we need to add 13 to it. Okay, even if y is, let's say, 18, what do we need to add to y to get to 32, the next power of 2? Uh, we need to add uh, 14 to it, right? So we basically have to find this number, right? Find this number. What we need to add to y to make it a power of 2. So how do we find that out? Okay, if we are able to find the nearest nearest power, we can surely find out this number by just subtracting 19 from 32. Let's try and find the nearest power of 2. So suppose we are given y, okay, suppose we have a value y, and we have to find a value, okay, which is bigger than y and is a perfect power of 2. So let's see, let's see what power of 2 is y. First of all, let's find that out. What power of 2 is y? Simple question. For example, if y is, let's say, a perfect power itself, let's say y is 16, then 2 power 4 is 16. So we are trying to find out 4, right? Uh, let's say y is 17, then it's some decimal value, right? So for example, if y is equals to 16, okay, so what power of 2 is y? Uh, it will be 2 power 4, right? 4 is the answer, right? If y is 32, what power of 2 is y? Uh, it's going to be 2 power of 5, right? Okay. And what if y is something in between? Let's say y is 19. Then what power of 2 is y? Uh, it's going to be something between 4 and 5, isn't it? It's going to be something between 4 and 5. And how do we find that? Find out that? Uh, we can use logarithms, right? We can, like mathematically, we can use logarithm. So to understand what power of 2 is y, 
we can just find out this log base 2y and let's say this value is p right so basically 2 power of p is actually y right and this value can be in decimal right something like for example if y is 19 the value would be between 4 and 5 it could be 4.1 or something okay so what do we do to make it to make it an integer we can take the floor of it right we can take the floor value of it okay but then it will it will become 4 right it will become 4 back isn't it if you take a floor value of it okay but remember we need 5 the next highest power to 19 is gonna be 32 isn't it so why not just add one to it let's just add one to it so the next highest power is gonna be so the next power of 2 is gonna be 2 raised to the power of p so that's how we can find out the nearest power of 2 to y and what is the value of k going to be the value of k is going to be 2 power p minus y this is what we need to add to y now the question is how are we gonna code this up how are we gonna use this value how are we, how are we gonna use log base 2y uh, we can use log base 2y in like if you're using c plus plus you can use the base change formula so you can do log base 10 of y by log base 10 of 2 this is the same as log base 2y this is what you can use in c plus plus let's move ahead and see our code so this is our code implementation we first of all take in the input x and y and we discuss this case if x and y are equal if you add k to both of them you, they will be equal and if you take an and operation between between two same numbers the result is never gonna be zero so if x and y are equal the output is always negative one now we will consider y to be bigger than x and if in case as per the input if x is bigger than y we just swap the values no problem now we just i just included this case for more simplicity like if x and y is already zero then we don't need to add any value right we can just output zero okay so the value of k is zero just add nothing to both x and y because they are already zero so that is common sense now what was our target our target was to find the next power of 2 of the highest number okay and the highest number is our y so we will find first of all what power of 2 that we need let's call that p we find the p by using this log base 2 y right and using the base change formula it is same as log y divided by log 2 that is what we have done over here log y divided by log 2 and since we need a higher power we will add one to it okay and then we find the next power of 2 and we can do that by using the left shift operator this thing is same as 2 raised to the power of p okay here we use the type casting because p was in double and then we found out the value of k okay this is what we need to add to y to get to the next power of 2 okay and we just output that result so hope it helps